There are many different thoughts on the process of creativity. It's certainly a courageous one. As you constantly face that blank page, it's like looking at the pages of your life and taking that leap of faith. Today I'm simplifying and demystifying the creative process a little so we can be more productive and improve our skills. Everyone has their own way of doing things. And when you look at the term creative process, you'll often find numerous steps explaining it. For our purposes, I'm going to break it down into a few simple parts. One, inspiration. Two, research or preparation. Three, creation. Four, revision. And five, celebration. First things first, this is where it all starts. Inspiration comes in many sizes, ways and forms. This is the initial spark that ignites the creative process. Inspiration can come from anywhere, personal experiences, observation, literature, art, music, dramatic works. This is the moment when the idea is born. For me, for an artwork to be really successful, you have to be deliberate and it has to come close to that something that you are trying to achieve. Sometimes we jump right into a piece and then realize that we didn't do enough preliminary work. As I like to say, a successful piece is when inspiration meets preparation. Which brings us to our second major point. This should be a fun stage, but it can take you down a warren, a whole set of rabbit holes. First, you need all your tools and materials in place. Before you even begin painting, you need to do some preliminaries. You need to plan, experiment with style, color, techniques. In fact, by doing this, you can create a whole set or body of work. So experiment, make mock-ups of what you're trying to capture. All great artists do this. Why not you? You need to get to know your subject. In this preparatory stage, you need to understand you need to study once the idea is formed it is important to gather and conduct research and experiment don't be afraid to use references whether it's a live model or a photo seasoned artists and creatives through time have done this all you need to do is make it unique make it your own draw upside down if you must in the book drawing on the right side of the brain one exercise encourages you to do just this See how it works when exploring your subject. This phase should also involve studying both similar and different styles to your own work, exploring different perspectives to deepen your understanding of what you're trying to achieve. It informs the creative direction. Art is for the most part subjective. You should like what you like, whether it's manga, impressionism, anime, abstract or realism. All these things can enrich your view of the world and influence the effectiveness of your artwork. Study everything, or at least everything you like, and from that you'll develop your own personal style. It was the painter Degas that said, painting is easy when you don't know how, but difficult when you do. As a child, your work is loose and free, and you paint just for the joy of it. In other words, creating a specific look, technique, or style, taking what's inside your head and putting it on paper is much more challenging. To be deliberate, that's another story. There's a lot involved in the process when you're trying to be deliberate. Creativity is a solitary process. You need both a quiet place to be still or contemplative, to think and develop ideas. And you also need vast experience, a space to expand. But sometimes, and more often than you think, you need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to go out and experience the world. You might not want to zip line or skydive, but doing things that stretch you will stretch you as a person. Enjoying different cultures, people, places and things will widen your horizons and enrich both your life and your creations. Whether you're writing a book, a play, a song or creating a piece of art. For this reason, most creative people are introverts. 
You need that quiet place, that stillness to allow the thoughts and ideas to develop, to marinate without the noise of the outside world, to be in the zone, as we say. But at the same time, you can wait too long before you actually execute, before you actually create something. So the plan is ready. Time to actually make the final piece. Time to put all that inspiration and planning into action and get the work done. Now that you've determined the colors, the style, the materials and the techniques, you have clarity. A clear idea of what you want the finished work to look like. Unfortunately, many people think art is a mysterious yet easy process. One simply goes in front of the canvas, the creative juices flow and the wonderful piece is produced. But in reality, nothing could be further from the truth because most accomplished artists plan their work. And even for very large pieces, they often have assistance. This stage can be an extensive one, but because you've put in the time beforehand, you should be well on your way. The next stage is the revision stage. You need to step back, look at your work. Sometimes a piece doesn't quite work. Remember, many seasoned artists produce work that they will repaint or simply throw away. Use these pieces as a learning opportunity as to what works and what doesn't and what should be worked upon. Does it need more refinement, more paint to give it a richer finish? Should it be more opulent, more dynamic? Does it need more color or does the color need to be more toned down or muted? free flowing or looser. The tweaking or revision often takes the longest. Once you're satisfied with your masterpiece, share it and celebrate. So let's look at the creative process in a nutshell. First you need that inspiration. Then lots of preparation. You need time alone and you need space to expand. You need to execute to get the job done and you need lots of tweaking. Job done, celebrate, take a deep breath, share, rinse, repeat and start again. So my loves, I hope you gained a better understanding of the creative process. Fine tune yours so you can turn your visions into a reality. Thank you Mr. Bob Marley. Wishing you one love, peace.